The police department is upgrading security at city council meetings. It's supposed to protect city leaders, staff and visitors. WNCT's Brandon Goldner takes a look at how secure city buildings really are. People attending Greenville City Council meetings will now have a change in their routine. The Greenville Police Department will require visitors to go through a metal detector before entering the council chambers. Captain Chris Ivey says the goal is to protect city leaders, staff, and visitors. It may take just a few minutes longer to get into the meeting, but we have staff that are trained in operation of the new metal detector. Councilwoman Candy Smith says recent mass shootings led to the need for security upgrades. But I'm in a position where I'd much rather be proactive than having to be reactive. The city's already implemented other security measures. The mayor, city manager, and city attorney's offices can only be accessed through a key card. Though some areas are more open than others, even when they're not supposed to be. Here at the entrance to the Greenville Municipal Building, the sign says door locked, badge access required. But if you actually try the door, I mentioned this to Captain Ivy, who says the city encourages staff to report any doors that don't lock properly. His officers also train them on how to report and react to potentially suspicious people. In fact, when I was filming, Captain Ivy says he received calls from people asking why I was there. Though he says the city must balance security and transparency. The city is still in the customer service business, so we, we want our customers to have access to us. In Greenville, Brandon Goldner. Nine on your side.